now the next topic is uh, understanding the requirements now understanding requirements the way it is it seems to be it's not like that it's very tough you know if you, you can understand the requirement you can present the requirement because all the other phases may it be analysis modeling may it be your design or your code everything depends on these requirements only that is why we need to do certain requirements engineering that is right from the inception to to the end phase this requirements will be there so what will be the requirement engineering aspect first inception you know you need to uh, ask a set of question that would establish the basic understanding of the problem domain and what uh, the people actually want the people who want a solution what what exactly their domain is and the nature of the solution that is desired and the effectiveness of uh, communication that is the pre communication and then collaboration between the customer and the developer this is at the inception and uh, elicitation means now taking or eliciting the requirements from all the stakeholders then trying to create an analysis model that is called the elaboration that identifies the data the function and the behavioral requirements those which has come from the uh, discussions now negotiation when we agree to a deliverable system that would be both realistic and possible to developers and customer and this negotiation we always need it should be a win win situation then specification that is you can have specification in the form of a written document or a set of models or a formal mathematical specification or you can have use cases like user scenarios or even a prototype you can have a prototype even as a specification then comes the validation how to validate we are not talking about validation of the software we are talking about the validation of the requirements so requirement uh, engineering entails this validation at the step of requirements only so the uh, what exactly review we would like to have to a requirements engineering or requirement uh, documents which we have made or any other thing which we have made so errors in the content or interpretation first of all and where we need more clarification we would i like to highlight those areas if certain informations are not there that are that are missing we are interested in that and inconsistency that is the major problem where large products they actually suffer or the systems are engineered the major problem lies in the inconsistencies and what about the unachievable or unrealistic or certain conflicting risk requirements we need to validate that also what about the requirements management this requirement management these are the set of activities that help to project team identify control track requirements and also the changes to requirements at any time as the project proceeds we'll start with the inception means there are different phases of the requirement engineering itself that is we need to identify the stakeholders means who else do you wish or do you think to you should talk to to grasp all those aspects of the problem we need to have multiple views not a single view or narrow view we want collaboration and we need to ask questions to ourselves like who is behind the request for this work who will use the solution what will be the economic benefit of the successful solution and is there another solution of the basic this time that you need for the solution that you need then eliciting requirements means how to elicit the requirement so eliciting requirements means uh, say evoking or extracting or trying to find out the hidden things which are there in requirement so meetings are conducted and they are attended by both the customers as well as the engineers and there are certain rules for preparation and participation that are established we need to suggest an agenda there has to be a facilitator that can be a customer or a developer or an outside which controls the meeting and the definition mechanism uh, this can be worked using a sheet or a flip charts or wall stickers or an electronic bulletin board uh, say chat room or a virtual forum can be used the idea to elicit requirement that is we need to identify the problem we, we need to propose elements of the solution and negotiate for different approaches that may come and we need to specify a preliminary set of solution requirements this is how we elicit requirement elicit requirement means we will uh, make a or call a meeting conduct a fast meeting make list of the functions and classes we make list of the constraints if the if we need formal prioritization if it is yes we use qfd to prioritize the uh, requirements otherwise we informally prioritize the requirement and we create the use cases now how to create the use cases we define actors write scenarios we write the complete template and we draw the use case diagram what about the qfd we have just seen if a uh, if the formal prioritization is required then we'll go for the qfd what exactly qfd means 
QFDME's quality function deployment, QFD. So this is a quality management technique that would translate the needs of the customer into the technical requirements of the software. So first we have the functional de deployment, information deployment, task deployment and value analysis. Function deployment which will determine the value as perceived by the customer of each function which is required. There can be various functions. So uh, giving a value to these functions and then identifying the data objects and event that is called the information deployment. And then task deployment means we want to examine what the behavior of the system would be, what is required. And then the priority of requirements that means the value will be given that is value analysis will be done. So how to elicit or um, elicitation of work products will take place. A statement of need and feasibility will be there, a statement of need and feasibility and a bounded statement for scope for the system or product, the list of customer users and other stakeholders who participated in requirements elicitation and also the description of the system's complete technical environment and the list of requirements that is you know, preferably organized by the function and the domain constraint that apply to each and the set of user, usage scenario that provide insight into the use of the system or product under different operating condition and any prototype developed or to better or to, to betterment just to define requirements. Now we are into building the analysis model. We have uh, we gathered the requirement, we have elicited the requirement, now we want to build the analysis model. So elements of the analysis model would include the scenario based elements, they can be they can be class based element, they can be behavior element or flow oriented elements. So it, elements of the analysis model will have scenario based element that means you can have functional or uh, processing narrative, narratives uh, of uh, software function or use case. You can uh, have a description or an interaction between an actor and the system. What about the class based elements? This is implied by the scenarios and the behavioral elements, they are implied by the state diagram and flow of course by the data flow diagram. So use cases, these are very important because UML has came into existence and now people are using UML not only to define the object oriented paradigm or design, but also to uh, present the requirements. So a collection of user scenarios that describe the thread of usage of a program. So this is these are the user's use cases. Each use scenario is described from the point of view of the actor. That is, it can be a person or a device that will eventually interact with the software in a certain way. So each scenario would answer certain question. Who is primary actor, secondary actor? What are the actor's goals? What precondition should exist before the story begins? What main tasks or functions are performed by the actor? What extensions might be considered as the story is described and what variations in the actor's interactions are possible? What system information will be will the acquire, uh, be acquired, produced and changed by the actor? And will the actor have the have to inform the system about changes to the external environment? And what information does the actor actually desire from the system? And does the actor wish to be informed about the expected changes? So this is an example of use case diagram. You can have a homeowner, system administrator with the sensor. So this, the homeowner will uh, arm or disarm the system. He can access the system via internet. He can respond to the alarm event. He can encounter an error condition. What about the system administrator? He can reconfigure the sensor and related system features. So this is a class diagram. If we just uh, take some example of safe home system, we want some sensor. So you can make a class, say the variables can be a name or data mem members can be name type location, area, characteristics and what functions we need to perform uh, for this class, identify, enable, disable and reconfigure. What about the state diagram? For state diagram, we can have a state name like this, like reading commands and then you, the variables which are pertaining to this state, that is system can be ready, enter command, steady. So system status, display message will be enter command and the display status will be steady. What about the state activities? The entry subsystems are ready, we do what we can do, the state activities, if entry subsystems are ready, we can pull user input panel, we can read user input and we can interpret the user input. These are the analysis pattern. For that, you can name the pattern name, the intent, the motivation, the forces and the context, the solution, the consequences, the design, the known uses and the related patterns. If you have a pattern, you can always employ it. Then what about the negotiation? Because there has to be negotiation between you, the stakeholders and the, the person who really needs your software, who has given you money for that. So you need to identify the key stakeholders. These are the people who will be involved in the negotiation. And we need to determine each of the stakeholders win condition. That means we want win-win situation. Win condition are not always obvious, but they are always required. We need to negotiate. We need to negotiate towards the set of requirement that would lead a win-win scenario. Then requirements are done, negotiations are done. What about validation? We need to validate in these terms. Is each requirement actually consistent with the overall objective of the system product? Have all requirements have been uh, specified at the proper level of abstraction? That is, do some requirements provide a level of technical detail that is inappropriate at certain stage? Is the requirement really necessary to, does it 
uh, represent an add-on feature that may be essential to the objective of the system and is each requirement actually bounded and unambiguous and does any each requirement has certain attribution that is the source generally specific individual noted for each requirement and do any requirements conflict with other requirements is each requirement achievable in the technical environment that will house the system or product is each requirement testable once implemented does the requirement model properly reflect the information function behavior of the system to be built and has the requirement made model being partitioned in such a way to expose progressively more detailed information about the system and have requirements pattern are employed to simplify the requirements model have all patterns be properly validated and are all pattern consistent with this customer requirements so now we have completed the requirements so this is very important we have seen how we uh, start with the requirement and analysis and planning and gathering and then negotiations all the rules and regulation that we need to follow and then finally validation thank you so much this was requirement gathering